Hi everyone, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and today we're going to show you how to wash a Mobility Scooter. If you own a Mobility Scooter like the Wrangler 2 or the Wrangler 1 or an Afficam or any other heavy duty off-road scooter that you take off-road, it might get dirty. And if you're like me, you like to keep your products looking clean. I've been torture testing this Wrangler 2, got a lot of great videos on our YouTube. Make sure you subscribe for a chance to win a free Mobility Scooter every six months. We're going to show you how to wash this thing properly without ruining the scooter. Mobility scooters are not waterproof. They are rain resistant, but they're not waterproof. So what I'm going to do is take the seat off first, put it to the side. I want to get it far away because I am going to be spraying some water, but I want to take the time to show you here that it's important to disconnect the batteries. You don't want to have your batteries connected when you're washing your scooter. You also don't really want to soak it with a hose either. You want to be very careful in how you wash this thing down. But the last thing you want to do is leave your batteries connected. So depending on what kind of scooter you have, you may have bolt heads, or you might have clip-on battery terminals with a clip that you can take out. In this case, I've got to unbolt four terminal heads. We're gonna do that and then we'll come right back to the video. All right, so we've got the terminals disconnected from the batteries. Step one is complete. We're gonna unbuckle the straps, which are used to hold the battery in place, and then just take the batteries out. I'm gonna go ahead and put them to the side so that they're away from any water and we don't have any short circuiting going on. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little shop back here. And what I like to do is vacuum out the area before we apply any water so that we can get any dirt, debris that's loose, any sand, gravel out of there. You don't wanna get the mud wet before you start washing. So let's go ahead and do some vacuuming. All right, now that we took out the mats for the batteries, which usually what happens right away is there's a lot of debris that gets built up and gets stuck down there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and think about starting to wash things down. Now, you wanna pay attention and figure out where all the wires are coming from, where the controller is. Right in under here is the controller. You can see all the wires plugging into it and I wanna make sure that water does it splash in there and get that controller wet? You have a circuit breaker switch here, which it can get wet, it's not a big deal, but the controller, you don't wanna get that wet. So I'm gonna grab my hose now, and I've got a little nozzle switch on it to carefully spray things down. I don't wanna go full blast, I just wanna get it wet in the areas that need a little wipe down. So again, just be careful, don't go crazy with it, you don't want to get backsplash into where that controller is. So I'm just gonna soak the areas that have the mud first. And I'm gonna take my time. Now while it's soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some car washing soap. You can use car washing soap, it doesn't really make a difference, or you could just use water at the end of the day. I'm gonna use a little soap because I wanna make this thing look shiny and, and make it look new. I mean, I like taking care of these products, making them look nice. I don't wanna just have a dirty looking scooter all the time. So basically, I'm just gonna start wiping her down, making sure that I don't get water anywhere near that controller. These scooters are rated for rain, but they're not waterproof. So bottom line, you just need to be careful when you're wiping this scooter down. You need to be careful that you're not getting water in areas that you don't want it. So for example, right here, I see a fuse panel switch box, the charging ports there, and that's where I wanna just be careful. 
giving it a light spray, never a, never a hardcore spray that's full blast and potentially going to create a backsplash in areas that you don't want getting wet. Always keep it light when you're spraying. Very similar to a car wash, but cars can obviously handle more than just a little bit of rain. You know, the cars can handle a downpour. Mobility scooters, when it's downpouring, as a user, you need to make sure you get under cover as soon as possible. They are not designed for heavy duty rainfall. Light rainfall is another story. You can see I'm, I'm pointing away from the controller, which is here, making sure I don't get that controller wet. Come around to the front now. I'm gonna get the front, spray the wheels a little bit, the tires, get that suspension system. Get the rear tires a little bit. Get the underside of the frame a little bit. And then come back with my rag and give it a little wipe down in the front areas that I didn't get the first swipe. Tires make them look nice and shiny. Everybody likes their rims looking shiny. Wipe the tires down a little bit, make them shine. There we go. Nothing to it. There is no secret to washing a mobility scooter other than just don't get water where it doesn't belong. Just be careful. You don't really want to get too high up here because all of this has electronics in it. I'm going to wipe that down with a rag, a micro cloth maybe dampen it a little bit, but I'm not gonna spray up there and use any water on the, from the hose up there. And that's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, I'm gonna start thinking about kind of uh, putting it back together and letting it dry for a little while. I'm gonna take my chamois or a micro suede cloth so I don't have any uh, fuzzies left behind. Give it a nice clean car wash finish. Let's see what we can do here. So the blower helps with not only getting the water out, but you could also do it before you get started to blow sand out from the areas of the crevices. There's some water back in here that's not coming out. So again, it may help to actually blow it down before you get started, depending on if you have a lot of dry sand and leaves in there, blows it all out. So I, I might recommend doing that before you start washing if there's a lot of sand in the cracks. But now that I've washed it, I can kind of see that all the debris is out. I'm leaving it out in the sun for a little bit just to dry too, and it's looking almost brand new. All right, we got the scooter nice and clean. It's drying off, and while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse down the battery cover that we didn't get the first time around. Um, had it in the back, just away. Forgot to wash this down as part of the process, but same exact process is gonna be applied here. I'm just getting it nice and wet. Put a little soap on her, and just wipe it down. Get it nice and clean. Nothing to it, just like a car wash. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through this part, and then we'll get right back with you. 
All right, something else that I like to do, your battery mats, they have little grooves in them. They usually attract a lot of dirt and sand. So I just dip them in some soap, give them a little wipe down with a, either a sponge or something that's gonna get in there. This works really great because there's a lot of grooves in there. So it really helps to push out all the little granules. I'm just gonna spray them down and they'll be nice and clean looking, almost like brand new. See that? Now they're looking good. Again, this is not necessary. I just like my stuff looking extra clean. Looking good. All right, so now that it's washed down, I'm gonna take a little micro save cloth here, or you can use a chamois to dry it off. Don't want to leave any water streaks or droplets that dry and show little marks after a nice car wash. It's the same principle. Now that my cloth is a little bit dry, uh, damp, but not soaking wet, I'm going to go ahead and move up on the dash here, wipe the dash down with this cloth that's a little bit damp, just enough to get it to where all that dirt and debris that's been flying around from the dust been doing a lot of off-roading with this scooter. Now it looks nice and clean on the dash. I'm gonna just go ahead and run the towel down the front where the tow hooks are and get all those dots that I see. All right, looking good. I'm leaving it out in the sun for a little bit just to dry too and it's looking almost brand new compared to what it was like when we first started the video. And that's what we want. So at this point, the scooter's pretty much washed. I'm gonna reinstall the batteries. If you have an applicant like this one, the process is exactly the same. You take the seat off, disconnect the batteries, get in there with the vacuum, lightly wash down the panels. And as long as you stay away from the electronics up here, away from the controller, away from anything that's really electronic with connections, harness clips, you should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together. Take a look, it's nice and clean, it's drying off, and it's done in a safe way that's not gonna harm your mobility scooter. For more tips, tricks, maintenance, unboxing videos, repair videos, new product releases, company news, look for Mobility Direct on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, you won't regret it. I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.